Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some pretty cool things to go over. Something called Pokemon Max Out was accidentally revealed early. We're also going to be going over all of the TCG cards revealed so far for Pokemon Pocket. We have some new Legend ZA rumors to go over. There's a lot of things to break down and take a look at today. If you're excited for the video, drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So starting things off, let's take a look at Pokemon Max Out. It was accidentally revealed early. It is the next season for Pokemon Go and it's all going to be about Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing in the mobile game. So I guess we kind of have like a release date now. It's going to be the next season when that drops in September. We do have Leak Duck here tweeting out saying the name for the next season of Pokemon Go has been leaked as Max Out. The season will focus on the addition of Dynamax and Gigantamax to the game. The season logo was accidentally shared on an official post before being removed shortly after. Pokemon Go have just been taking L's left, right, and center. They accidentally revealed the Dynamax trailer before the closing ceremony at Worlds 2024. They've also accidentally revealed this too early as well. Like, you feel like they'd get it together and, and not be dropping these things early every single time. Uh, but either way, this is the next season for Pokemon Go. It will introduce Dynamax into the game. Uh, again, it's all been day to mind already. We know everything about it in the game um, so far. All the video footage and everything like that, what it actually looks like and stuff. So, yeah, we just need them to make it live. And it looks like they're going to be making it live during the next season, which is obviously called Pokemon at Max Out. So I wanted to quickly go over that. Uh, next up, I'm going to be going over all of the cards that have actually been showcased so far for Pokemon Pockets TCG. Um, this was throughout, I guess, Worlds 2024. They've dropped a few things on the socials as well. Uh, but these are the first four cards. Uh, so obviously, we've got Poke Guardian talking about it. Pokemon TCG Pocket demo card images. So a lot of these cards were kind of uh, packed during the 2024 demo. Again, it was just kind of a, a pack simulator. That's all it really was. Um, but at the same time, there's some really cool artwork that's also been revealed. So this was the first card as well. I think we've already seen this anyway in the initial reveal trailer for Pokemon Pocket TCG. So we've got Pikachu EX there. Uh, we've got another Pikachu EX card here. Uh, we have Charizard EX here. And then we also have a Raichu EX card here as well. And again, these are only going to be for Pokemon Pocket. These aren't going to be like printed um, physically. These are only going to be digital cards uh, for this uh, new mobile game. So that's the first lot. Uh, these are the next ones as well. We've already seen this Pidgeot card, but this was such a nice card. I absolutely love this Pidgeot card. Uh, we've got a Haunter card here. Uh, next up, we also have a Cubone card here as well. This is a really sad card because the cloud is just kind of in the shape of Marowak and he's just there looking at it crying. I just, just got to give him a big old hug, man. I feel bad for Cubone. He's always he's always in the, he's, he's always having a bad day, man. It's not great. Uh, the next cards are the Squirtle one. We've already seen this one, but then we've also been revealed the Snorlax card. Uh, and as well as that, we also have the Psyduck card as well. So a pretty cool Psyduck card there. Uh, and then next up, we also have this Lapras card that was also revealed as well. Uh, this is Lapras, uh, Hydro Pump, only 20 damage. But either way, again, I don't know what the kind of TCG is going to be like on Pocket. I, I'm assuming the HP and the attack is going to be a lot less because they're quick battles. You know, they're going to be like under 10 minutes to play that. Uh, so that's the Lapras card. And then we also have some really nice cards here as well. This Articuno card looks incredible. Uh, so this is Articuno EX. And again, these are going to be like the rarer cards to obviously pull. But I wish I owned like half of these in physical, man, because they look so nice. So that's Articuno EX. Uh, we have the Bulbasaur card here as well. And then we also have a God of War card um, as well. So these are all of the cards so far that we've seen. I believe there might be a couple more that was obviously dropped during the uh, the demo. Uh, but I haven't really seen those. If I go to the actual Pokemon Pocket TCG, obviously we've got the trailer and everything. But yeah, it doesn't look like a ton of other cards were kind of like dropped really. But either way... We'll hopefully get like more cards just kind of revealed throughout the next couple of weeks. Obviously, we know the uh, the the release date is the 30th of October, so I'm assuming we'll be getting more and more promotion for this game as we kind of get closer to to that date. So uh, that's all the TCG stuff that I wanted to go for Pocket. That's the Pokemon Max Out event. Finishing things off today, we do have a new rumor to go over for Pokemon Legends ZA. This was posted on 4chan as always. Take it with a massive grain of salt. Some of you guys don't like the 4chan rumors. Some of you do. Um, so obviously you don't have to watch it if you don't like the 4chan rumors, but I like speculating. I like going over what people are kind of, uh, I guess expecting to see, or it, you never know. It could be a leak. Either way though, uh, it was posted on the 12th of August. Uh, so over a week ago now, uh, and it's titled like say Legends ZA leak. It says, I have some insider information regarding Pokemon Legends ZA. So it takes place in the future, not known exactly how long, but definitely at least a century after X and Y. So yeah, I mean... 
the, the future could be a cool different spin on on the Legends game. Obviously, it's called a Legends game, and those things usually apply to things in the past. So I'm definitely expecting it to be in the past. Um, but it'd be nice if we could go to the future, the past, present day, everything like that. I, that'd be absolutely really, really cool. Especially because that would allow different Pokemon to appear in the different locations. As I say, if you find like a Growlithe in the past in that spot, it could be like a Purloin or something in the future. So uh, I really hope that you can go to multiple time periods. I highly doubt it, but that would be kind of cool. But either way, this rumor here is saying that it does actually take place in the future. Um, and it takes place at least a century after X and Y. Uh, the, play the player character is implied to be a Team Flare Grunt who got um, Isaac to the future by the ultimate weapon somehow. So, I mean, a Team Flare Grunt just sounds, I don't know, kind of dumb in my opinion. I don't think that'll be the case at all. Um, it, it, like, Team Flare obviously disbands as well during the events of X and Y. And if this takes place like a century after X and Y, would Team Flare still be a thing? Or maybe you were like an ex-Team Flare Grunt or something like that. Either way, I, I really don't think that's a... A, a, a I don't think that's the best play, really. I think, think that's kind of a dumb idea, really. But either way, apparently the ultimate weapon somehow yeets us into the future. Even though the ultimate weapon went off years ago before the events of X and Y and before Team Flare was even a thing, but apparently the ultimate weapon somehow <laughs> just makes absolutely no sense, really. Uh, and then goes on to say the game takes place mostly in Lumio City, but also focuses on expanding the city into surrounding areas. So yeah, I mean, I think that's how the game will go anyway. I'm assuming that there will, will be like open areas around Lumio City that are still kind of, I guess, labeled as Lumio City, but that's where we're going to be going and finding Pokemon. That's where they'll attack us. That's where we can catch them and stuff like that. Um, it then goes on to say the city is divided into five quadrants with the central plaza serving as a hub. Um, so yeah, I mean, that sounds like it... it probably will be the case uh, prison tower might be the hub just like we had in pokemon legends arceus with um the the, the jubilee kind of village there so we'd go there we'd report there um we'd get like the quest there we'd get the tasks there and then we'd go out into i guess the outskirts of the town and then complete those tasks and stuff again we don't really know how the game's gonna run we need a trailer for that which we haven't got yet um but either way i do expect it to be divided in five quadrants and you can lock more as you kind of like build up the city and stuff like that uh, it features both Kalos and Hoenn Law, so I don't really know why Hoenn Law would be there. Hoenn doesn't really make any sense. Obviously, Kalos Law makes sense, but I guess the only kind of connection is that there's Mega Evolution in Hoenn, but that Auras is obviously in a different timeline, so uh, maybe it's the same timeline as, as that one. Who really knows? But uh, yeah, that's the only kind of connection I can kind of see there. Obviously, Hoenn is nowhere near Kalos. Hoenn is based on somewhere in Japan. Kalos is based on France. They're absolutely nowhere near each other. So don't really know why I'd have that. Maybe I could see it making sense if it was like Galar Law or even Paldea Law, just because those are relatively close to France. Um, but yeah, Hoenn, literally other side of the world. Doesn't really make much sense. Uh, every Pokemon introduced in Generation se uh, 6 is available as well as every Pokemon that received a Mega Evolution. Yes, this includes Mewtwo and Hoenn Legendaries. So yeah, I mean, I'd like every Mega Evolved Pokemon to be in the game. Uh, I think it it makes sense for them all to be in the game. There will probably be time distortions. I'm assuming they'll carry that on from Legends Arceus, and that's how you'll be able to get Mewtwo. I mean, Mewtwo will be different. Mewtwo will probably be like a um, like a quest or something. Maybe the, maybe someone gives you a task like this. I've been seeing this weird time distortion pop up, and this weird creature inside of it. Can you go and I guess take a look at it, and then you go out and then you battle Mewtwo, you catch it, etc. Other Pokemon like Iridactyl will probably just appear in like random time distortions that pop up, just like we had in Legends Arceus with the fossils and Magnemite and Porygons, etc. etc. Um, and maybe other Megas as well, like maybe the Hoenn, Legend Ho Hoenn Legendaries that'll happen. Uh, I'm also expecting all the Generation 6 Mythicals to be available to be caught, just like they were in Legends Arceus with the Generation 4 Mythicals. So, yeah, I think there'll be a lot of kind of like side quests and legendaries to get in this game. While Pokemon are in the overworld, uh, I mean, we already know that because we saw that from... Well, we saw Pokemon in the overworld from the trailer, but I'm assuming Wild Pokemon... I don't know why they would go back. I don't know how they would not have Wild Pokemon in the overworld in a Legends game. All over the city and in surrounding areas, initiating battles and catching them works like in Legends Arceus. I don't have any information about the battle system. So, um, well, I mean, you just... Well, the battle system, I'm assuming, is going to be very similar to Legends Arceus. If the whole initiating, battling, and caching is the same as Legends Arceus, then I don't see why the battle system would be any different. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what I want anyway. I would really, really like the same kind of system. I, I thought Legends Arceus, the way that they did the battling and the catching, like the three-throwing and everything like that, was so good. And I really hope they bring that back for Legends ZA. Uh, music in Lumio City is a cool techno remix of the theme from X and Y that evolves like the Jubilee Village theme. So... With it being in the future, I would expect like some sort of techno remix, yeah. Um, 
but obviously if in the if it's in the past you'd expect like a more more of like a slow kind of like like we got for Jubilife Village. Uh, Lumio's Catacombs play a major role in the story. Uh, the music in that area is a remix of the Power Plant theme, so that would be cool. I would like them to bring back music from X and Y and kind of uh, yeah change it a little bit um, and, and then kind of implement that into Legends. Yeah, I think that'd be a really cool thing to do. Uh, I've also got a bit of access to battle music as well. Again, I haven't seen any battles, so we have the Kalos Wild battle. Uh, we have the Cal Kalos Wild Pokemon theme. We have the Kalos Trainer theme. We have the Kalos Gym Leader theme. So this would also reveal that Gym Leaders are going to be in the game. Which, again, I I I I'm more kind of pushing towards Gym Leaders over boss battles in Pokemon, especially if it's set in the future. Um, and maybe not even known as Gym Leaders, but like, I don't know, because this game clearly features battling a lot more than Legends Arceus. I feel like they'd push more for battles in terms of like bosses and stuff. So I think that will be like in each area, like in each quadrant, there probably will be like a strong trainer and that's who we have to defeat and then we're maybe ready to go into the next area or something like that. Um, it says we have the Diantha uh, theme. So I don't know how we'd have that if it's set a century after X and Y. Maybe Diantha's I don't know, children or something like that maybe. I don't know why that would randomly appear. Uh, the Team Flare as well theme. I mean, like I say, Team Flare basically disbanded in the events of X and Y after obviously um I mean they basically did anyway after like the whole, the whole Lysander thing and everything like that um so yeah the team flare would that still be around who knows Lysander as well we have that theme it just doesn't really make any sense why would have his theme really especially if it's set in the future uh the Hoenn wild Pokemon theme which again I don't know why there's so much Hoenn kind of incorporation into this game uh according to this person it just doesn't like the only connection is that Hoenn you can also mega evolve in the Auras timeline uh we have the Hoenn gym leader theme we have Steven and the Wallace theme which again this is set in the future so none of these people are going to be around anymore we have the Reggie's theme uh we have the Mewtwo theme we have the Super Ancient Pokemon theme, so that's two versions. I'm assuming that would be the A Pokemon in Legend ZA. Uh, and then as well as that, we have the Xerneas, Yveltal, and Zygarde theme. And there's going to be three versions of that. So, yeah, I mean, all in all, I just, I don't believe it all. I, I feel like this person doesn't really know what they're talking about. Um, I definitely think it's fake. A lot of it doesn't really add up. Uh, for me, I, yeah, I, I feel like if you're going to make a fake leak, at least do a little bit more research, I guess. I don't know, because this just sounds really, really bad. Anyway, I think it's false. Anyway, it could be true. You never know. I just can't really see the game playing out like this. Certain aspects of it, I can see happening. Um, like, obviously, the five different quadrants and stuff like that. But the rest of it, I'm going to say... Big old fake, uh, big old fake this one. But let me know your thoughts on this one. Uh, also, let me know your thoughts on everything else that we covered today as well. What are your thoughts on Pokemon Max out? If you do play Pokemon Go, are you excited for the whole kind of Dynamax uh, and Gigantamax situation? I'm definitely really excited for it. I think it's a big feature to the game. It is definitely something that I thought they would drop at Worlds, like not just a teaser trailer. Um, because now they're just going to have to like shadow drop the trailer, I guess. Like when the season starts. And I feel like a lot more eyes were on Worlds and it would have got a lot more hype at Worlds. Unless there's going to be a Pokemon Presents. You don't know. There might be a Pokemon Presents at some point. And maybe it's going to be dropped there. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. That would be awesome. Uh, but yeah. Either way. This is something that is going to be coming to Pokemon Go very, very soon. And then also. What is your favorite card that's been revealed for Pokemon Pocket so far? For me, it's got to be the Articuno card um, that was revealed. I don't know. We, we, we saw it earlier. This uh, this card here. This looks so, so nice. So yeah. I really hope I get this uh, day one of Pokemon Pocket. Yeah. At least. Which card is your uh, favorite so far? But either way. That's going to be everything for me. If you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment with your thoughts, like I say, on everything that we covered. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace.